Now, to go back to the reservation setup, um, one thing I forgot to mention is that if the vehicle is not available, this will be the message that will be displayed to your customers and you can simply override this message and uh, have the message changed on your website. Now going back to the online reservation website, uh, on your homepage uh, you get a, a small widget which you can specify uh, the pickup location and the return location. If the loca return location is different, you can simply click on this checkbox. You can select the dates and select the vehicle type or simply click on the vehicles. You can also disable this rotor, rotator, as I mentioned before, under the reservation setup. I can say show home rotator. I can save this, go back. If I refresh, the rotator is gone. I can also go back and uh, set up the design to have a top banner. Select the banner, click on save. And if I go back, click on refresh, the top banner is added. This is just a sample banner. So you can easily customize the website to the look and feel that you're looking for. So I can just click on continue. Now on the website, I see uh, the location and date, uh, the code detail. Uh, from here, you can simply just convert uh, th the numbers to any other currency. For example, US dollars. Um, you can uh, click on optional extras, for example, uh, administrative fee, loss damage waiver, and when you do that, all the totals will be updated automatically. At the bottom, you also have other vehicles to choose. So you can simply select on the vehicle and it will be selected on the top uh, section in your code detail. And if you're happy, you can just click on reserve this vehicle. And from here, uh, you see a uh, quick description of the reservation or a reservation details. And on the right hand side, you're able to enter the first name, last name, email, and the phone number and accept the rental policy, which we have configured uh, from the other page that we showed previously, and then complete the reservation. And this section is where you set up in the reservation page to say, ask for credit card, ask for driver's license, you know, ask for a uh, full address. So if I turn all these features on and I go back to the website and click on refresh, all those information will appear on the form that the customer should fill and uh, create the reservation. So we'll go back and turn them off. Go to the online reservation, click on refresh, and start entering the testing alex at rentcentric.com. Actually, I can put in just alex4 and put in a phone number. And I can just put any special request, accept, and complete the reservation. Okay, that's my reservation now. Um, you can simply click on print to print this reservation. Or you can uh, click on email, cancel, or, or modify. If you have local weather set up, you can uh, write on the, the administration location information. Uh, you can see the local weather. You can click on the map or hours of operation of this location. And this is when the customer logs in. They can see their previous reservations. They can see their profile uh, or update their profile. They can see their rentals or they can start a new reservation from scratch. Now, um, with Rentcentric, you get the web customer, which is the default web customer page. You can also set up an online reservation website for your customers who want to access from uh, a, a iPhone or mobile device. So it is uh, basically the same reservation system with a different interface to fit on a mobile device screen. So simply you can select it, click on next, and simply follow 
uh, this location is closed here, but you can simply follow the same steps and uh, uh, create a booking on the website. And the address is mobilewebcustomer.asbx instead of webcustomer.asbx. So you simply add a mobile in front of the word and click enter and it takes you to the same page. Now to go back to the vehicle sales, If I click on the vehicle sales, um, you can set up the vehicles to be sold online. To have your vehicles displayed online, you can simply go to Rencentric, click on your in-fleet, browse to the vehicle that you're looking to sell, go to vehicle ownership information, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and here, you can simply click on sell online and specify the price that you would like to display online. When your customers visit your website, if they click on vehicle sale, sales, they will see that specific vehicle and they can basically book a test drive to come and see the car and if they're interested, they can uh, purchase the vehicle. So if I click on the vehicle, it takes me to the vehicle profile page and I can see the images. I can see all the options on the vehicle which you can set up under the vehicle profile vehicle specifications under option section and that will be displayed online you can have the technical information and they can also send you a request uh, uh, about their questions for this vehicle or simply click on book a test drive and they can click on this book test drive unfortunately this vehicle doesn't have any rates and they can have this specific vehicle booked and you will receive the reservation for them to, to, to arrive and test drive the vehicle. Hope this helps. For any detailed uh, information on the rate setup, uh, simply view our rental rate management section uh, on YouTube. Thank you.